Hi guys! Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jeannie and this is Get This Glowing and in today's video I'm really excited for today's video. I've been talking about doing this for a long time and I finally broke down and I got the products that I needed to do this. So we are going to be doing a full face of Joa Cosmetics. Guys, you know I rave on this brand all the time. I feel like it is an extremely underrated brand. Um, it is a brand that is only found at CVS Drugstore. Let's just get started. Um, I'm going to go in with one of my favorite. This is the mineral primer. It's called the Blur Activator. I just love this. This is a straight up dupe for the Mineral Veil Primer by Hourglass. So if you've tried that and love it, this is exactly the same. Or if you've wanted to try that one, but you just didn't want to drop the buck, then try this one out instead because I'll tell you, I will not be purchasing my Mineral Veil anymore since I found this one. A brand of very good quality dupe. I have been pleasantly surprised by everything I've ever found in this brand. This just gives you the best pore filling, blurring. So I'll just come in and let you see. It just is a really nice primer. And this is the foundation I picked up that's really, really light. And I just couldn't tell because of the frosted glass. I wasn't getting a good read on how light it is. This is a pretty runny foundation, which I don't mind at all. I'm going to just take a drop or two of the Cool Vanilla. Well, that was like three, maybe five. It's kind of going everywhere. <laughs> And I'm just going to mix all of that together with my finger on the back of my hand and see if that will kind of darken it up just a little. I actually mixed in eight drops. Okay, and now I'm just going to pick up the rest of that on this foundation brush just in case I need it, but I'm not going to start with that. I'll wipe off the back of my hand so I don't get this all over me because I will. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to use, I think this is a L'Oreal sponge. I can't remember. And now I'm going to actually go in with a different foundation brush. One that doesn't, one that doesn't have all of that foundation on it. Because I think I've got enough foundation on my skin. So I would say that this is probably a light medium coverage because you can see your freckles peeking through and then let's just take the foundation brush that I do have some more of the foundation on and let's just see if I can get a little better coverage right through here where I need a little bit more so you can build it up so that's pretty nice actually I kind of like a foundation that works like that where it starts out pretty thin and then you can just build it where you need it because it kind of helps you not to get too much. So that's what that's looking like. I think it looks pretty good. I don't know. You let me know what you think, but I'm liking that. The only foundation that I have that's really runny like that is my Kogan Dough. I, I, I like my Kogan Dough better, but I'm saying that because I haven't played around with this one enough to know yet, but I like this one being runny like I like my Kogan Dough. My Kogan Dough is runny and I like it because it's runny, if that makes sense. The one thing that they don't have that you know I love and use is the pink brightener. And the one that I've been using lately is just my Instant Age Rewind by Maybelline in lieu of my Giorgio Armani because it's a straight up dupe. For my Giorgio Armani and then after I use this I use my Joa Truly Yours concealer. I 
Okay, so then I just go in and put this right over the top of that brightener and I just really, really love this concealer. It is so good. And this is what I love about it. So it really brightens and conceals and in that aspect, it is a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away Concealer. Now, this is what I love about it more than the Charlotte Tilbury. The Charlotte Tilbury is good, but when you put it on, you have to give it a few seconds because it is going to crease. It is just going to crease on you. And I have to always remember that it's going to do that, and I have to go back in and tap out the crease. You tap it out, you're done. If you don't remember to tap out that crease, then you're going to be walking around with a crease. And quite honestly, I don't really want to have to remember to tap out that crease. Chances are it's not having them. So this one doesn't do that. Once you put it down, it's down and it does not crease. That is the beauty of this concealer. That's why I love it. It works just like Tilbury's Magic Away, but it don't do the one crease thing. You put it down, you're done, you're good to go. And I don't do backups, but I do backups of that. And I've got two colors. But it just, you know, I'll come in and let you see. It just, uh, it's so good. I mean, it's, oh, uh, it is the bomb diggity boo. It is just so good. They have, this is my favorite eyebrow pencil from them and it's called Brow. Yeah. Now it is a kind of a bigger pencil and this is exactly like nude sticks. It's straight up dupe. It's made every exactly the same way of the nude sticks. So if you're a fan of the nude sticks eyebrow, you will love this. And I find that the color of this works really good for me. Now the one thing that their eyebrow um, product does not have is a spoolie that's just a clean spoolie. And what I mean by that is they do have a spoolie, but it has your eye gel on it because your eye gel is all in one pencil, which I like that because you don't have to go searching around for another product. So I really enjoy that. But if you like to brush out your eyebrows before applying your eye gel, you are going to need to have another, you know, just eyebrow spoolie. That's how those look. And they have their Be My Everything blush and bronze palette, Be My Everything light and dark highlight palette, and then they have um, their birthday suits. They have three different birthday suit eyeshadow palettes. And this one is in the shade Bare. And this one looks like this that I picked up. It's really, really pretty. It's kind of a warm tone palette. They have a cool purple tone palette. Um, I sent that one to my friend over on um, Pretty Over 50. And... Um, I sent her that one, and I sent her one of these um, Be My Everything blushes, and I sent her the one that has kind of a purple feel to it to go with that eyeshadow palette. And um, then um, they have one that is just a little bit more neutral. And so they're really, really pretty. So I just thought that we would go in and use all of their face products. I'll use my BK Beauty 104 and I'm gonna go in and hit um, this side, that's the blush side at first. And this is just a nice pale peachy tone blush. So that's gonna look really, really good with the palette that I have picked out for our eyes today. And this particular shade of the palette is harder to find 
than the um, more purpley shade, but it's really, really pretty, or it has been for me. And this is a dupe for um, the Kevin Aqua um, Mia Bronzer. This is the Kevin Aqua Blush in Rose Cliff. And even though the colors aren't exactly the same, you see how it's gradiated, and this one is uh, has a gradient to it too. Kevin Aqua does that, and so these are kind of duping that gradient that's on the Kevin Aqua products. And then his Neo Bronzer also has a gradient. So that is why I'm saying it's a dupe for um, the Kevin Aqua because it's Kevin Aqua that has a sort of a gradient to his products and Kevin Aqua does have and maybe I don't have that one. Maybe maybe I don't have that. So maybe it's the Neo there's a there's a Neo something. Maybe it's a Neo setting powder that has a purple to it and I can't think of what it is right now. But it reminds me so much of this product, but the one I sent to Kimberly that is purple. Let's go in with, this is the, um, the highlighter palette, the Be My Everything highlighter palette, and that's what this looks like. And this is um, in the light um, selection. And so let's go in and try this. So I'm going to use the middle one that's the iridescent first and just see if I need to go any lighter. And I think probably not. <laughs> That's got some pretty, pretty highlight to it. Oh, that is very pretty. So let me get my little buffing brush, my Kevin Aqua buffing brush. And let's just buff all of this together. Oh, guys, I am so thrilled. And this is what we're going to be getting in one of our boxes for Boxy Charm. And I have already bought a brand new one because mine was running low. And so now we're going to be getting a new one. And look at how it works whenever you spray. And after that mist hits your face, I just take a sponge and I just, you know, press like this and just help all of that dew kind of melt all of those products together and look how pretty. Oh my goodness, I love these products. So let's get started with the face. So I'm going to be using the um, birthday suit in Bare. And again, it looks like this. It's really, really pretty. It has, um, well, it has a little bit of purple to it, but with a warm t undertone in there. So it's really, really nice. So I'm just going to go in and grab... Y'all know I'm addicted to this Farrah brush, this Farrah 35E. If anybody out there in this land has these and you hate them, just send them all to me. I want them all. No, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> but um, <laughs> I do go on the Mercari and I buy these off of the Mercari because I love them so much. So don't y'all love Mercari? Are y'all addicted to Mercari like I am? Oh my goodness. Comment below what y'all buy off Mercari. This is what I buy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Farah, send me some brushes, baby, and I'll promote them on my channel. <laughs> the 35E. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. Ipsy, um, y'all start <laughs> putting the 35E in y'all's $3 bins so I can bomb up. <laughs> I'll take five of those. <laughs> I am so bad. I love that brush. So yeah, if y'all ever see it on a, um, if y'all are Ipsters and you ever see that on the Ipsy add-ons, that's what you want. You want to buy that real quick because it is so good. I love it for blending. Now, if you've got a big, if you've got a small eye space, probably won't work. But if you've got um, a big eye space like I do, 
is so good. Now these palettes, let me tell you, these palettes are shimmer palettes. So if you do not like an all shimmer look, so it kind of reminds you of Charlotte Tilbury. <laughs> these remind me of dupes for Charlotte. So <laughs> again, they, they're like knocking on Charlotte's door, let me tell you. Um, but that's what they remind me of is a Charlotte uh, Tilbury, especially this one. This one really reminds me of that latest little, you know how she had that six pan quad that came out? It wasn't, it was on the Nordstrom anniversary sale. That's what this reminds me of. That's what, like, I don't have it. Or I would swatch it and see how much of a dupe it is. And this reminds me of that Nordstrom Anniversary palette. Straight up. Straight up. But, you know, as far as she's releasing another one of those um, three, six, nine, twelve pan palettes in the shade Pillow Talk. It's like, how much Pillow Talk does anybody want? Come on. Let's go purple, baby. Let's go purple. Let's, uh you know, get some bedroom eyes. Hire me, Charlotte. Hire me. Now I'm just going to start, um, I've got all of that blended. I think it looks really good and I'm just going to start deepening things up. I'm going to go in with this Luxie 121 Mini Tapered. It's a little bit smaller and I'm going to go in um, to this darker shade called Birkin right here. The one that I was using was three dollar signs. And I'm just going to go on the outer edge, just on the outer V, and up into the crease. I'm not really getting much fallout either, just a little bit from that shade, just going to wipe that away. But I really haven't gotten much at all. I really like this Birkin shade. It's about the shade of my shirt. These are pretty dusty, the eyeshadows, which I don't really mind that. I'm not, you know, really, I'm just kind of tap, tap, tapping like this. Um, but I'm not getting really fallout. I'm being, I guess, kind of you know, I'm just not going in ham like crazy, <laughs> you know, but I'm not getting fallout. So that's really all I care about is how much fallout I get. Especially since I do my eyes last. I just haven't gotten into that doing my eyes first yet. I wonder if that will ever happen for me. Um... And I just, I'm going back and blending. And now I'm going to take this little brush. I'm going to go into that Birkin shade. And I'm going to just run that under my lash lines. And now I'm going to take this fun shade here called Night Out. It's right here. And I'm going to pop a little bit of that right, which really... You know, sometimes I just think that whenever something is kind of right here, sometimes I just think we need to kind of mm, maybe walk away, <laughs> maybe be okay with it being right here and just be done. Actually, I'm not going to use that shade. I'm actually going to do something else. I think I'm actually going to go in, I'm actually going to go in with this one called Baby Doll. I'm actually going to try to make my eyes open up a little bit by using a lighter shade. Let's see what that looks like. This is like butter. This shade right here is so smooth and creamy. And then I'm going to put that night out on the outer edge. And I'm just going to marry the two of those. 
yeah I like that okay now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side and there we go okay so I have my eyes finished right now and so what I really want to do is finish up my mascara eyeliner and I'll be right Guys, back. I am back and this is my finished look with pretty much except for the lips being city lips matte. I have got a full face of Joa products on and I have to say um, I'm pretty impressed. So this is the brand that is um, their parent company is KISS and you can go online and purchase them or you can find them at your local CVS. They have extremely good products and extremely good prices. So uh, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I've been wanting to make this video for so long because I am completely hooked on uh, my two favorite products by this brand, I have to say, is the Joa Blur Activator, a complete dupe for the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. I cannot seem to tell a difference one about this primer. It is so good. Um, I know that as long as this is around, I won't be buying my Hourglass Mineral Veil anymore. Um, the other product that will just completely, I feel, if you are a fan of the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away Concealer, or if you are just looking for a great concealer that will not uh, get into those fine lines, that does a great job at concealing those dark circles, those are my issues I have very crepey under eyes, very dry under eyes, and I have dark circles. And this is my holy grail. This is the one that I reach for. This is the one that I love. And it is the Joa Truly Yours Dark Sealer, Dark Circle Concealer. And I love this. Um, it is just it's just my favorite out of all the ones that I've tried. And let me tell you, I have got a drawer, an Alex drawer full of concealers. And this is the one who would have ever thought <laughs> this would be it. Um, I do take mine in the shade light. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. It really helps my channel. Also, um, there is a giveaway going on over on Just Guess's channel along with the giveaway going on on my channel so that means you've got double the chances to win so get in on that um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you'd like to be it's really easy just click on the big red subscribe button down below and if you want to be notified when there's further content to watch on my channel then ring the post notification bell youtube will give you a heads up when there's something new to watch i hope that today is treating you well and that you're happy healthy and well and until my next video mwah, smooches everybody bye bye till then mm -hmm.